One of our common themes this morning is that Agnes affected everyone. And right now, John Meyer has a piece of history, a treasure that he wants to share Just with think us. think how about how many families have an album of what they lived through. This is my mother-in-law, Patty Workman, the Pahalski family. She was a teenager at the time in Suarezville where their house was devastated by the flood. And we were looking through this last night and looking at the different pictures and she was telling us stories. It's just so incredible to hear about what they went through all those years ago because nothing tells the story of Agnes like the personal stories from you. A lot of people are likely going through old albums this week, memories of the Agnes flood rushing back. My mother-in-law's photos show the Polsky family home in Swoyersville wrecked by the high waters. Two photos of her stand out to me, one leaning against the wall while cleaning, another sitting frustrated on the front porch, telling much of the story. Some of you also sharing photos of the devastation you lived through, much of it in the Wyoming Valley. Mary Beth Syracuse also sending images of the mess in Swoyersville. Her mom wrote on this photo, 19 years of marriage piled on the curb. How about the amount of mud taken from their basement? Pam Priest Thomas lived through it all in Kingston. Her home on South Wells Avenue had water on the second floor. Susan Matucci says her parents had just paid off the mortgage here in South Wilkesbury and just remodeled the kitchen, all of it lost. How about this photo from Debbie Snyder? She says her uncle took them by the levee in 44 to see the high river. The dike broke right here, hours later. Joseph Krasnahill says this is what he was doing, sandbagging to help save the valley. He turned 17 the week before. Kim Toby says her dad, Nicholas Gushka, was the state trooper in this boat in Kingston, helping rescue others. She says he was always proud. He helped serve his community during that time. And we know the devastation went far beyond the Wyoming Valley. Bev James showing us her flooded home on Tioga Street in Tunkhannock. From Bradford County, Alice K. Weingartner sharing her family's business, Schaefer's Feed Service in Monroton. She remembers being 16, shoveling mud, but also remembers all the help her dad received getting it back up and running. On Facebook, we also got many stories from back then. Linda Bartlett says, sorry, the only pictures are etched in her memory. Being a child, the fear, the loss of everything, including her dog, and a neighbor who woke her family of five to get them out. Diane Morio says they only lived in their house two weeks with a sister on each side on the Sansui Parkway. The house was covered, they lost everything. And from Barbara Staniszewski, don't want to remember those days with the prayers emoji. Can you think, Mindy, in all these photo albums of people, some don't have the photos, but so many family members, but all those families bounce back. The it's, valley bounced back. It's amazing to think how long it took, but eventually they bounced yeah, back. And now it's a story they can share with so many of us. We have a lot more live coverage coming from Wilkesbury as we remember Agnes 50 years later.